And I found my, myself through the first part of the pandemic, I mean, I got really depressed. Yeah. I, got, I got really fucking low mm-hmm. um, to the point where I created nothing. Mm-hmm. I, I wasn't even calling my mom back. Yeah. So like for t- two months, I'd say almost, uh, I had to really reassess and analyze what am I ignoring? Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I can't create right now. And even, even artists, even artistry itself wasn't really saving me because normally kind of like the functionality aspect that Vo's talking about, I use art for myself first and foremost to vent through what I'm struggling with. And then luckily a lot of people relate to it, Mm. but uh, I I wasn't even able to do that. So um, after over the last two weeks, I've I've really felt as though I've come out of that. Um, It was actually interesting. A feature request sparked that because I've only done two features in five years. What do you mean Uh, feature requests? I don't do features very often. Uh, I actually just asked, I I just asked Vo like two days ago, if you'd feature with me, because I think he's sick, but like first time in five years, somebody requested a feature and I actually said, yes, I really loved it. We just finished it a few days ago. We're pitching it to universal music and they work with like fast and furious and some other people. So really excited about that. And it just kind of sparked some, wow. Okay. I can do this. Like every every artist gets lost in their shit every once in a while. I got to take a break, but here I'm back. I feel it. Um, and so a part of that, not only the feature, uh, it was just like my routine had to switch up. Mm. And uh, I recognized that I didn't have a sacred ritual for myself. And I started getting obsessed with social media and playing video games and watching movies and ignoring everything. So I was like, okay, I need to reconnect with my emotions. Mm. Uh, so I kind of I kind of set time. I, I allowed myself to not have shame. And I was like, you know, all right, I'm not creating right now. It's fine. It's fine. We don't have to have extreme pressure on ourselves 24 hours a day. And I started, uh, kind of, we talked about it in the podcast. I started meditating a little more. Right. And, uh, so my daily routine has been essentially more personal and like inner, inner reflective and allowing the avoidance to dissipate and being like, okay, I'm going to sit in these uncomfortable emotions. I'm going to figure them out. I'm going to journal. Uh, and then I'll reapproach my art. Mm. And uh, I will say that's been very helpful for me. So I'm still working through it. I think all of us are yeah. dealing with a lot. But um, yeah, I'm definitely, I think I'm like five songs into my fourth album-ish. Uh, wow. tying, off, tying off a few loose ends. I'm very fortunate and I live with my producer. We have a studio in our house. Uh, convenience. <laughs> uh, so like, <laughs> I understand that's not everybody's situation. Yeah. Um, but for five years, I was finding beats online and I had no producers and I still was making it work. So like, I'm very grateful for where I am. Yeah. Um, but even in the most ideal environment, I didn't even want to walk into the studio. It's like, open the door. Like, it's like the dark, decrepit part of the house calling my name saying, come over here and write. And I'm like, no, I don't want to today. You know, so I'm very, I'm very uh, feeling more grounded now Mm -hmm. uh but it did take some like conscious awareness of stepping back and just recognizing all right i can't create right now i'm gonna give it some space Mm -hmm. um, i think a lot of artists don't do that because we feel so much pressure all the time to get content out content out content out to just to step back take a a break 